जय श्री माता जी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन लेट्स ऑल बो डाउन टू श्री माता जी रीजा मदर कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन
श्री माता जी यू आर श्री गणेशा मदर काइंडली स्टैब्लिश ऑल द क्वालिटीज ऑफ श्री गणेशा विद इन अस श्री मात जी kindly make us all your beloved child shri ganesha we will take shri ganesh mantra left hand towards shri mata ji right hand on our left swadishthan shri mata ji kindly establish the pure knowledge within us will bring our right hand on our left heart shumata ji by your grace i am the pure spirit mother i'm not this mind not this body but the pure spirit Shumata ji kindly establish Shri Shiva principle within us
will bring our right hand on our left vishuddhi mother i'm not guilty at all shumata ji by your grace i'm a pure spirit and a pure spirit can't be guilty mother i'm not guilty mother please take away all the feeling of guilt from within me Let's bring our right hand on our agya. Shumata ji, by your grace, I forgive everyone. Mother, I forgive even myself. mother kindly take away all my ego and my super ego and make me a humble person right hand on our sahasra we'll massage it for 7 times mother kindly establish my self realization mother kindly allow us to feel your lotus feet on our sahasrara every time
Let's bring our right hand back on the lap. In this meditative state, we will now hear Shmataji's speech. Sorry, I had to say something before entering in. But it's good that it has happened. Because now I have to tell you some things important in life. And that especially for ladies, I have to tell this. I've noticed, uh, of course I'm also a woman, that women have certain water powers of crying, weeping. And thinking they are very miserable and making everybody miserable. This is their power. I've noticed this. I mean, this song is the worst song you could sing on any day whatsoever. But it has come into somebody's head. It's very negative. And not only that, but it shows a person who can never be happy and doesn't want anybody to be happy. So inside every woman, there is a motherhood, there's great capacities, sacrifice, everything is there. But with that, they also should know they are left-sided. And our joy, about which we talk within our heart, has to manifest outside. People should see that we are joyous, that we are happy people, that we are not like others who start crying for small things. Like when my father died, I was surprised that suddenly I became thoughtless, absolutely thoughtless. For about three days I was thoughtless. Neither the thought of pain or thought of unhappiness or anything came up, but just thoughtless. And everybody was surprised because I looked after him and, I mean, he was very attached to me, very fond of me, everything was there. But they were surprised, how is it I became suddenly thoughtless? So if you are a Sahajogini, then at the time of crisis, you should become thoughtless. That's one of the signs. I have seen with myself. If there is any crisis in the family, I just become thoughtless. That means what? that God just takes you in your problems. He puts His hand, He puts His protection and He takes you out of it and makes you absolutely thoughtless. And in that thoughtless awareness, you discover what is right, what is wrong. So even in crisis, this thoughtless awareness is all the time extremely alert. It becomes much more alert than normal. That's the sign of a Sajogi and a sign of Sajogini. But I've noticed it very surprisingly, especially with French Indian girls who came here. I was shocked that they were very left-sided, crying type, nonsensical. And to hear this song again, I was surprised how could they sing such a song from France. As it is France, you know, the problem is they drink such a lot. I'm sorry, today the French have done this beautiful thing, but I better tell. Now when they drink, they think they are very happy, they are very joyous. 
but you know how long it lasts, it just finishes off and they suffer. But as a result of drinking, they become very left-sided. And if you see a Frenchman, he is always unhappy. Even to say that he is happy, he feels shy, because people will think he is ignoramus. So he should be a miserable person, les miserables. If he is not, then he is not French. But we are not. We are in the kingdom of God. In no way we are unhappy, in no way. Some things happen in life, after all. Life is such, somebody has to die, everybody doesn't die together. Imagine, everybody dies, what will happen to people? Who will bury us? <laughs> I mean, think of, if you are all born together, who will deliver us? So everybody who is born has to die. But the way they have made the death as some sort of a oh, big uh, part of life, it's just a moment, just a moment that you pass out. And you go and change and come back again. But in this life, if you have to do anything, is to enjoy. So for that, their philosophy is that you should go to pubs, because God knows when we die, what will happen. So they use it in the other way. This is English, I am not saying the French. <laughs> but in India, when somebody dies, they get bands and all kinds of music, and they go on playing in front of the dead body. And why they play? Because if there are bhuts or anything, they'll all run away. Also that you should not feel sad. Accept what God has done for you is for your good. And then they have a big dinner, one day after tenth or thirteenth day, very big dinner has to be given. It's very surprising, you know, that country which is so poor, such a problem, if a father dies, then the whole family becomes like an orphan, uh, orphanage. Despite all that, they don't wear any black dress, Otherwise, I have seen here people wearing black dresses. And a lady was very upset. She said, the bank will open at 10 o'clock and I have to go to the funeral and my ornaments are in the bank. But I said, well, to ornaments you don't wear for a funeral, do you? No, no, I have my special ones. You know, I've got very nice dark black ones. <laughs> I said, and the best part of it, the day they die, they must have champagne. When the person dies, champagne. When uh, they come back home, they must have lunch and a big party. So it's such a contradictory life that we have been, because in Christian religion, they have not said much about the death. When Christ, if they had allowed him to live, he would have talked about it. But he has said that spirit is eternal. He has talked of reincarnation, no doubt, but these people didn't tell about this. So, death means now that man is lost forever, or this life is lost forever. Then we hang in the limbo, or we hang somewhere else, we never come back. This is absolutely wrong, it's not so. So what you have to achieve in this lifetime, the highest thing is your ascent and your position in the kingdom of God. For especially for ladies, I have to tell you, because you see, reading all these tragic things all over, so many tragedies, Bapri Bap, this Greek tragedy, this tragedy, that tragedy, it just 
starts working in the nerves of the ladies. <coughs> if somebody says the slightest thing, it becomes like a bombshell. They just start behaving as if, oh my God, what has happened? He should not have said this to me. But what we do to ourselves, we should see first. What harm we do to ourselves, we never cry for that. You have seen how in the West women have ruined themselves. They never cry for that, never, never. But they cry if somebody says even a little word to them. In the, of course, in India also. But there are very sensible women, otherwise I have seen, in the East and West, who have a great sense of bearing, a majestic attitude towards life. Like an elephant is walking and the dogs are barking, so what does it matter? That majesty comes when inside you have that joy. Nobody can make me unhappy. This is, should be the principle. Nothing can make me unhappy. Otherwise you start moving towards the left side. When the lady starts crying and the man starts going to the left and suddenly you find ten booths sitting on him, how does he get it? I've never been to a, a cemetery, I've never been to any such place, Mother. I never saw anybody dying, then how did you get Bhutish? I never went to any guru. See the wife? Wife is a crying doll. For everything she cries. If you don't do this, cry. This is another kind of ego expression, I tell you. It's crying business. So today I want to have a promise from all of you that you are not going to cry at all. Instead of flowers, you just give me this flower of promise. I never cry. Of course, sometimes, Sandra Karuna, one tear or two tears might come out of my. After all, I am a mother. But not like this, sitting, crying, crying, becoming hysterics. Must have your dignity, you are all Sajoginis. Don't read any book which talks of crying. But books which are deep also make you feel very much touched. You feel like crying is all right. In the cinema, they say, see a woman torturing her husband. There they will cry. At home, they'll come and torture the husband. What's the use? I've seen many like that. In the cinema, they'll be crying. When it is somebody else, they feel the pain. When it is themselves, they never see what they are doing. So, my one demand today is that you must not cry. Now you are in the kingdom of God. And in the kingdom of God, you do not cry. Now we had All Saints Day, we had this, that, they used to do all in India also, they have nonsense like that. All right. Give them their due, but you don't celebrate by crying. That is one sign that you are really joyous. I mean, what a song to hear. I was shocked. Who suggested the song? Can I ask the culprit? I know, that must be an Indian woman, has to be. Ekta Asli Gani. Bedal Madhe Manai Chini Jata Samandha Sa Joga Shinai. So, look at these beautiful things that they have created. If there was no beauty within themselves, they would have been sitting and crying. What else? Of course, those people who are beautiful, they never cry. Maybe crocodile tears sometimes, just to show off. But inside they don't cry. Because they are so confident. They enjoy their beauty. They enjoy their glory. They enjoy themselves. Why should they cry? What is the need? And such wasted tears are of no use. 
So today we are here to enjoy our joy. Our Atmananda, Nirananda, Paramananda, all these we are here to enjoy, which are of eternal value. You have to understand that now, believe that you are in the kingdom of God and all the subtle beauties of your being are going to be opened out to you. You are going to see yourself all the beauty. But here if your eyes are already closed, if your heart is already closed and you don't want to see something that's so beautiful, how can I say what a beautiful thing they have made? is a very important thing in life, is to have a very positive attitude. For Sahaja Yoga also, in Sahaja Yoga, we have to develop ourselves within. But that's not so. People will say, my mother is sick, my father is sick, my brother is sick, my this, 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 that one is sick. First, First thing is this. I mean, sometimes I used to think I'll have to just start a hospital instead of an ashram. <laughs> then the second is, my husband is like this, my children are like this, my this thing is that. that. This my, my, my is not you. What are you? You are a surgeon. And in Sahaj, you have to know that you have all the proofs, everything before you to know that you are a Sahaja. Now, if I know that I am Adi Shakti, suppose it. <laughs> if I know I am Adi Shakti, then I know then I don't have to uh, ask any help from anybody. After all, I'm Adi Shakti, I'm supposed to do everything. That's my job. Because I have that power. And I have that power, just such, I have that power with me, so I have to do it. Now I can also say I am a woman, I should sit down and cry. No, I have no right. I cannot do it even if I want to. My job is to encourage you, to tell you about your inner subtleties, your beauty. Now do you know what beautiful thing you are? Let us talk about our inner beauty. What are we? Are we all these mad people? Are we all these people who are all the cry time are miserable? Or are we all these people who are always fighting, those who are hankering after things, who whom this matter dominates? No. We are the spirit. We are the Spirit, we are the reflection of God Almighty, which is purity, which is truth, which is knowledge. We are that. We are not like ordinary people. How can we live on that level? Only if you are possessed, if you had a bad guru or something like that, maybe you are going like a yo-yo, going up and down, up and down, up and down. But those who have crossed all those limits, have reached that state, should value that they are the Spirit. So many spirits here sitting, reflecting God Almighty. I am such a proud mother. And all of you are capable of enlightening so many people in this world. But the beauty within you is that you are absolutely independent of anybody else. You depend only on your, upon yourself, upon the source of your Spirit. 
the joy of your spirit. You don't expect others to give you joy. Supposing somebody tomorrow comes and abuses me, I'll say, all right, no matter. It never touches me because I, I am with myself. He is saying these things. He will suffer or not suffer, that's not my duty. When you start depending on upon yourself, just imagine a house which is standing on rocks, like that you are. Try to feel it, feel the rock within you. Try to understand. We are not going to behave like other people. It's all right, people who have built their houses on sands have to worry. Not we, we have built on rocks. So we have to be very courageous. We have to be very bold. At the same time, extremely humble. When the tree is laden with fruits, it bends down. So we worship the Mother Earth. We worship the sun, we worship the moon, we worship everything that is around us which has helped us. We worship our parents, everyone. But above all, we worship ourselves. Because we are worshipable. Now all of you have become saints. That doesn't mean that you develop beards and have all funny dresses and all that, nothing of that. You have saint because inside you there is the fragrance of beautiful fragrance of your lotus. That's the spirit. This is the lotus you have made for me here. Such a beautiful lotus, I am sitting in a beautiful lotus. In the same way it's reflected in your heart, it's a beautiful lotus. Feel that lotus, how beautiful, how delicate it is. It's pink because pink is the lotus which invites everyone. Sign of generosity, of invitation. Pink color attracts all kinds of insects, everybody. So, lotus is pink and it in invites everything, open to everything, not frightened of anything. But it comes out of the mire, comes out of absolutely horrible ponds. There are lots of worms going round it, all right? But it emits the fragrance and makes the whole pond so beautiful. That's what you are. Wherever you will be, you can create that beauty. You can flow that beauty. You can make people see what a spiritual person is.
we will recite the three maha mantras We thank you Shri Mata ji for this beautiful collective morning meditation Let's all bow down to Shri Mata ji. Raise our Mother Kundalini and put bandhan. Let's join again tomorrow at the same time for the collective morning meditation. Jai Shri Mata Ji.